All right, looks like I got it working. Um, I wanted to have this thing test cut in the wood today. I'm not far off, but uh, feels like I got another stone coming down through the through the works, and I uh, got sick just a little bit ago. Uh, feels like a meal kicked me in the side, so uh, I'll probably have to it's hotter than Jesus out right now too. But I figured I'd give you guys an update uh, video on it. All that is left. I do believe is muffler mod, put the muffler mod on it, and put my air filter in it, um, and then I think it's ready for a bench run up. Maybe tonight, maybe I'll get a bench run on it, and then maybe we can get test cuts on it tomorrow. I was sitting here pondering what to do on muffler mod, and it seems like I want to compare this roof with different transfers to stickers. Uh, I should probably run the same muffler that stickers is the same muffler mod that stickers has and I think what I'm gonna do for this can is doing my standard single outlet and I think I'm gonna put this can on uh, my six horse uh, spicy one because I intend on I haven't made my mind up depending on how this goes I might sell that, that that brand new blacked out six horse one. Uh, depending on how it goes, I might sell that brand new blacked out uh, strong work saw that I did. That's 5.8 horse uh, as well. I don't, I don't know. Just, just depends on how this thing turns out. But I think, I think I'm going to take the because when you're really working them in the woods that when you put your hand over on this side if you get your saw turned to the side a lot that other exhaust uh, it's not bad in the winter time because it kind of heats your hand up but uh, it uh, if I'm just bucking and goofing off or whatever it's it's fine but I have the same muffler mod as stickers on that six horse one I think I'm just going to do a single outlet for work and just switch the two the two mufflers uh, on a positive note today, uh, my Honda filter came in, I cut a chunk off, I already oiled it up, it fits my cage perfectly. Um, I had to twink my throttle rod uh, in this one, it was being a little glitchy. Still makes like a little click, but what that click is, I'm watching it when it starts to move the, the rod thumps over I'm not quite sure I did when it was hanging out I did when I was pulling on it for a compression test when the rewind acted up but the rope did flip over and catch something and it, it might have caught the throttle rod and bent it over went in there with a screwdriver and bent it back and now it's it feels almost like my other one but it, other than that sound right there But it's the, I get full throttle. Might just need to wear it in. But, uh, yep, I blended this, uh, shaved a little off the sides. And then here's a, I think this is another 4910 curve that's got issues. Um, I'll show you what I did to that on this Let's see if I can I don't know if you anyway there's a 34 right here and I bored it out to where I'm just almost to the top of the the, the 34 and then I pulled these screws out put green Loctite on them put them back in and then ground the head off pretty smooth just to where it's down to where, where that big large shank is ground the threads off that stuck through and then thinned the shaft on each side kind of like uh, it's not as nice and precise as what the factory did here and then I cut cut this off put green Loctite on that one as well and then ground that off and flared it open there and uh, Hopefully I didn't screw nothing up, but uh, this carb should flow considerably more than this one. And uh, 
I didn't put no holes in here because I want to see how my foam filter is gonna gonna work out for me but uh, this looks like it's gonna work out uh, just just peachy for me but, uh, And that, I did oil that filter with some Bell Ray, Bell Ray oil. But uh, it all fits nice and neat underneath Alex's filter thing. Uh, so, yeah, it, uh, if this works out real good, I might send the dimensions of that cage to Alex and see if he wants to 3D print some and I'll probably end up I think I can get one two three I only have I only have three of these filter setups currently on three of my saws so that would leave me one extra filter but I'll probably if not I'll have to find some material I was thinking maybe I could find a piece of PVC that uh, was the right diameter or close to it that I could turn down to. It's just, I, I realized plastic would have been a lot easier to, to build than that aluminum piece. It's just, I worked with what I had. I had a chunk of scrap. That's what I turned it into. Um, spent hours on the lathe whittling down a four pound chunk of aluminum to, to that. But uh, this thing, other than the muffler is, uh, She is close. I stuck my sticker on there. I'm waiting to hear back from the sticker place because I'll have a sticker for that. That down here. And the one that goes there. So, I don't know. But, uh, uh, in case you're wondering, this is for a CT90 for a Honda. Uh, worked out perfect. That was only like seven bucks. This was seven bucks. It was like maybe eight bucks after shipping, but uh, it was like seven or eight bucks. And the the uni filter one that's almost the same size as this, eBay wants twenty seven dollars for it. I'm fine with the black foam. I'm not picky. Can't see it anyway. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think I'm gonna go in and get something to eat and uh, lay down for a little bit. Let's see if my pain in my side will let up so drink some more lemon juice so alrighty you guys have a good one